Hi, I'm Ann Margaret, and welcome back to my kitchen. I hope you like what I'm gonna make tonight. Uh, it's disgusting outside. It's raining and gross, and so I'm gonna make a pot of basta vazul, and I hope you all enjoy it. So let's get started. The ingredients that you're gonna need to make the basta vazul is gonna be basically, you're gonna need some tomato sauce. This is about two cups. Again, you can measure or not measure. I really don't measure. I have some extra virgin olive oil, which first we're gonna throw into the pot and we're gonna saute some celery, some onion, and some carrots. After that's all sauteed, then you throw your garlic in, but I'll show you when I do it. Also, we're gonna need some chicken stock, which I use Swanson's. Of course, I have dittolini, and some cannellini beans, and some salt and pepper. That's basically gonna make the soup. And you cook the pasta separately, and we get it all together. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna use some extra virgin olive oil, Pour that in your pot. Make sure you have a nice amount in there. And uh, make sure you start with a little bit of a hot pot, you know? And now we're gonna throw in the carrots, celery, and onion, which I use my hands. You hear it says one? Just throw it in there. There we go. Now save your garlic for a few minutes. You don't wanna put the garlic in just yet because you don't want it to burn. But here, you're going to just saute this for a couple of minutes, maybe about five minutes until it just gets a little bit translucent. And then we'll come right back and throw the garlic in. Okay, so it's been about five minutes, maybe a little longer. And uh, we got the onions and everything nicely sauteed in here. And now we're going to throw in, sorry, that's my dog in the background. But uh, we're going to throw in some garlic and let that cook another minute or two. Now, while this is cooking, Get your pot of water ready to boil your macaroni. Because some people throw it into the soup, but I don't do it that way. Don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. So you're going to boil a pot of water and make sure there's plenty of salt in there so that, you know, it cooks the pasta nice, okay? So we're going to let this cook for like another minute. Get that garlic in there. Give it a nice flavor. And again, I have a little salt and pepper here. We're going to throw that in. You always need a little salt and pepper. Again... Don't ask me how much I do. I have no idea. Just wing it. Now, we're gonna throw in the tomato sauce. And like I said, again, you can use chunky tomatoes, you can use crushed tomatoes. Me personally, I like like a Del Monte sauce, you know, like the tomato sauce, all right? You get that in there, let that go in for a minute. And then we're gonna add in some chicken stock, which again, I have no idea how much I'm measuring. This thing is about what, 30, 32 ounces. So put in like a half of it, maybe three quarters of it. And if you want it extra soupy, throw the whole thing in. Whatever you want. We're just gonna throw in a lot of it, most of it. There we go. And now just give that a stir. We're gonna let this cook now for I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes or so. By the time your water boils and you cook your macaroni, we'll be ready to roll. So it's pouring rain. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but it's very annoying. And every time the thunder claps, there goes my dog barking. So I apologize with the noise in the background, but it's a perfect day to have busted those all. Now the water's boiling, or as my grandmother used to say, Berlin. And we're gonna pour the dittolini in there. I use dittolini. You can use like elbows or any kind of small macaroni, but this is what you really should do, because I said so. This is just a pound, throw it in. And while that's cooking, you're gonna throw your beans. These are cannellini beans. This is about, I don't know, again, just wing it. Maybe, uh, maybe it's about like a can and a half or something like that. So you're gonna pour that into the soup mixture. Oops, did you get that? I'm gonna stir that up. And while the macaroni is cooking, this is gonna finish cooking. Now, after this is done, some people will like to cook the macaroni right in the soup. I don't. I like to strain it in what my father always called the scola bust, my mother too, which is this old fashioned kind of strainer. I always use it, you know? So basically you're gonna cook this now for like maybe I don't know, like six, eight minutes, something like that. Again, you want it al dente, you don't want it too, uh, too soft. And again, I do it this way, which is the right way. 
<laughs> but you could do it any way you want. You could throw the macaroni right in to save an extra pot. But I like it this way better. I feel like I have more control over how much. I'm okay, so the macaroni is cooked and strained. And now I'm gonna put a lot of this into the soup, which will, it's, it's a pound of macaroni, but again, you know, you can use more or less, you know, depending on what you want. Now, you're gonna get <clears throat> basically a delicious looking soup. And just kind of stir it up a little bit so it's all mixed in. <clears throat> and you can shut your stove off and plate it up. And this is gonna look absolutely delicious. It's gonna taste so good. And did anybody's mother ever call this a goupine? Because my mother and father always called it a goupine, like the skull of us, right? So now I say it. My kids look at me like I have two heads, you know? And this is the delicious pasta varu. So let's put it on a plate and see how it tastes. So now it's in the plate, and here it is. Now, of course, if you don't add cheese, I don't know what is wrong with you, but of course you gotta always add some nice fresh locatelli, a little bit of parsley, fresh parsley, okay? You're gonna make that nice. And of course, you can always throw in a little bit of red pepper or extra pepper, but I put a lot of pepper, so I think it's all right. So we're gonna taste it and see how it is. Make sure you get all that cheese in there. Okay, get everything on the spoon. Delicious. It's very, very hot, so let's see if I don't burn my mouth. And here we go. Mmm. Delicious, again, very, very good. And again, we have a little bit of vino. Today I had the pink Moscato, and uh, I hope you enjoy. And it's a simple recipe, again, on a cold day, on a rainy day, it's always great to have. And uh, I'll quote the great Dean Martin, and that's amore. See you later.